these are the four levels of power that Dajjal has and also Imam Mahdi has four levels of powers. Now I will explain this as according to Muhammad Qasim's dreams, the man that I believe is Imam Mahdi and I'll also explain it according to the hadith inshallah. So Muhammad Qasim has seen in his dreams first of all that Dajjal is alive today and Dajjal as according to Muhammad Qasim's dreams was born to a Muslim family. So he was born as a righteous person. In the beginning of his lifetime, he was a righteous guy doing righteous work. In fact, Muhammad Qasim has seen in his dreams that he was born somewhere in the Arab world. Allah knows best where. He was born in one of the Arab countries. This is what Muhammad Qasim has seen in, in his dreams about Dajjal. Now Dajjal in the beginning of his lifetime, as I said, was a righteous person doing righteous work. But then something happened with him where he became arrogant and he laughed at somebody like an extreme way, not just laughing at somebody randomly, he laughed at somebody in an extreme scenario and in an, in an extreme way. And not only that, but he started to reject Allah and to use magic. And he started, basically he went misguided. Muhammad Qasim has said that the story of Dajjal is very similar to the story of Iblis. So if you wanna think about Dajjal, which we believe is he's alive today, just think about the life story of Iblis. They're very similar. In fact, Muhammad Qasim has seen in his dreams that Dajjal is in contact directly with Iblis. Now about the levels of powers of Dajjal, Muhammad Qasim has seen in his dreams that the Dajjal has four levels. Right now as we speak, he's on level one and he keeps using things like magic to upgrade his powers. But one of the things that Muhammad Qasim has seen in his dreams, every time Dajjal gets close to a Muslim, and he tries to hurt him in a way, when that Muslim recites dhikr, for example, then Dajjal loses some of his powers. Some of his powers downgrade. So he's still on level one, as I said. On the other hand, Muhammad Qasim, who I believe is Imam Mahdi, he has seen in his dreams, by the way, he never claims to be, I believe that, and others too. Muhammad Qasim has seen in his dreams about himself that he also has four levels of powers that Allah has blessed him with. Right now, Muhammad Qasim, as we speak, is on level three of his powers. And Muhammad Qasim has seen that when he reaches level four of his powers, then during that time, Allah will make everything that concerns Muhammad Qasim come into reality. Meaning, if Muhammad Qasim wants something to happen, Allah will make it happen. For example, if India, right, at that time, let's say Muhammad Qasim is the leader of Pakistan, maybe or maybe not yet, Let's say if India attacks Pakistan, Muhammad Qasim wants this attack to be stopped. He makes dua to Allah and Allah will make his dua come true. That's what that means that when Muhammad, when Muhammad Qasim reaches, reaches level four. On the other hand, Dajjal will reach level four after the seven years of peace. Now Imam Mahdi and the Muslims will establish seven years of peace on earth. And after the seven years, Dajjal will come out very angry because the Muslims have established peace and justice and Dajjal wants the opposite of that. Dajjal wants corruption, he wants homosexuality, he wants shirk, he wants corruption, the biggest of biggest corruptions, biggest one is shirk, that's what Dajjal wants, he wants people to worship him. So when Muhammad Qasim and the Muslims, when they establish seven years of peace on earth, after that seven years approximately, Dajjal will become so angry that finally he will reach his level four of powers. And when he comes out, he will be on level four of his powers. 